Last night, Jared and I pretended we were a couple and went on couples therapy. We found like a 24 seven, like couples what? therapist. And we, we pretended like we had all of these problems. Wait, what? <laughs> I started off the Zoom crying and I said, can I just get right into it? He won't let me be a top. Okay. I'm, oh. I'm in the mood now. Let's run it. What's up guys. And welcome to episode 94 of Dropouts, 93. I honestly don't know. I don't know. Are we getting that close to a hundred? And I, um, <laughs> yeah, someone brought it up the other day. They DM me. They're like, episode a hundred's coming up. You excited? I was like, we have nothing planned for the visual. Oh, oh yeah. If you guys have any, uh, 100 episode celebration ideas, please let us know in the comments. I can't um, believe it. Also, if you think that I'm dressed like your local youth pastor, hallelujah. Am I right? <laughs> Are you? No, I feel like they'd wear no, episode is, 93. They, w- they would wear this, play with acoustic guitar. Oh, true, and it was like, can everybody close their eyes tonight? Because oh. you're my prince of peace and I will All right, live. Jared, uh, let's hit some intro music. The ones in LA are always dripped out and like supreme and Yeezy and Gucci. Like, I kid you not. It's the weirdest thing ever. Thankfully, I've never been to a church out in here in LA. Yeah, they're not good. Jared and I have a funny story that we've been meaning to tell you for a while now. Or actually not a while now. A it while. happened last night. Can About I, 12 hours. Before we start this story... I would just like to say one thing. I do apologize for being so late today, but you will hear later in the episode, Jared, that I have plenty of excuse. You're not even late. How late are you? Four hours and five minutes? No, That's not a big okay. deal. That's like- We'll explain it later. I just wanted to formally apologize to you and let you know that I'm very sorry I am this late and I will buy you dinner tonight. Oh, thank you. Because you're going to be up pretty late editing. I am. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> so I am also on this podcast. I don't know when we uh, <laughs> well, bring that up. Do I get dinner as well? You're not editing. I edit the TikToks that go on to TikTok. That's also true. So I get so dinner? You, you get an appetizer. Do I get an appetizer? You get an appetizer. Oh, Jared, if we were you out, that we'll get into this. Anyway. Okay, I, <laughs> I want to hear this story. I'm excited. I love when I hear stories because I feel like I know everything about you guys and what's going on. So when I don't, it's so exciting. Oh, just um, get ready for it. Oh, no. Last night, Jared and I pretended we were a couple and went on couples therapy on a Zoom with a we real found, therapist. We found like a 24 seven, like couples what? therapist. And we, we pretended like we had all of these problems. Wait, what? <laughs> and I, I, I started off the zoom crying and I said, can I just get right into it? He won't let me be a top. <laughs> Are you serious? You guys actually did this. Yes. And I said, at best I'm a power bottom. And that's, I still feel like I'm beneath him. Did you guys really do this? <laughs> And I hate the power struggle in our relationship. And then and then he just started screaming at me. And then she's like calming us down. Yeah, I was just screaming. I was like, you're a bottom. You've always been a bottom bitch. You know, like I was being belligerent with and, him. And I was like, you don't love me like you used to. And then I said, I never loved you. I've and then he, no, no, like you he, with a therapist on object. the phone. And then yeah. he, he said, you don't have sex like you used to. Yeah. And then she was like, guys, guys, guys. And then um, like, this is in like, we came out hot. And you guys, uh, do, 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 do the therapist is just watching? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra was her name. <laughs> Miss Sandra is what Miss, we called yeah, it. Yeah, Miss Sandra. We were very polite to her. Like whenever we addressed her, we were always like, Miss Sandra, um, this dude's an asshole, you know? <laughs> and and then at one point I, I looked at him, and I said, we got to do the thing we do when we're, whenever we're in a fight. And we talked about this before we were gonna do this. So we hugged for literally seven minutes without saying a word. And she mm-hmm. kept on like bringing things up and we just didn't answer. Yeah, it was just like, we, and, we and, were just <laughs> trying to like breathe and sync with each other. So like our bodies would lift and you know, depress with each other. And then I grabbed his face and I looked him in the eyes. I said, we fixed it again, baby. And, and, we, and I said, thank you so much, Sandra. He said, thank you so much. You really helped us. And then we logged off. Like we just- Are you serious this really happened? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Swears these. That is, I think, the funniest thing. And that is all because we were just bored waiting for you. We were just you. bored waiting for you. <laughs> and I was like, how quickly can we get into an online therapy thing? And we, dude, we we're a power Turns couple. Up. Look me dead in the eye and tell me that that actually happened. Jared and I. <laughs> went on a zoom. It's funny. Okay. I gotta be, I'm dead serious right now. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to laugh. I won't, I, I won't even you? blink. I need to test Jared. You can keep a blank face. You know, I even like, even if this was fake, I couldn't take, is this really? Okay. Yes. This yes, is real. It's, dude. It's not that hard to get a couple sorry, therapists in like five minutes. You guys actually did this? Yes. yes. We were bored. Oh, this poor Sandra. This <laughs> it, is hilarious. It's, it's a bit we're going to start doing and I want us all to start doing it. Did like, you guys film any of this? No, no. We just kind of did it for us. It was kind of, yeah, on a whim. For you guys? I would, we I really want you guys to do it and like I think it's really fun if we come up with our own problems. Oh, this is hilarious. But we're still paying them, so I feel like 
Yeah, they yeah. still get money out. Like, we're, we're fine. Not, we're not and honestly, wrong, honestly, right? it's probably a little bit of a funny situation for them to go. But for, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure they deal with a lot of depressing, deep situations. Mm -hmm. So for, that honestly maybe brought a little bit of light to them. Yeah, they probably go run and tell all their therapist friends. They're like, you are not, not going to believe, believe what happened. He he. Okay, and then after. Oh no, they got patient client confidentiality. So I, they you know what? I don't think in that scenario no, they, they're really they too start concerned about people. it. Yeah, for sure. They had to go get a drink after us. <laughs> they're like, oh man, yeah. There's these two guys, and they hugged for quite quite a long time. I don't know. It was fun. At one point, I remember screaming, "You're just mad because you'll never fertilize my egg." <laughs> and I don't even know what that meant. What? I don't know. We and were. That's. She, I was she like, tried to like uncontrollably screaming and crying. She tried to like explain the biology. She's like, you don't have eggs, but yeah, we were just in the middle of fighting each other that we didn't actually and then pay we, attention. And then we hugged and made up, and then it, we were done. Thank you, Miss Sandra. That is like that is. I Can love I that you guys just did that for yourselves. The best seven minutes of my life so far. I can show you the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Indy had some interesting things happen to her. Yo. Did anything happen at gunpoint? I don't know if okay. at gunpoint. Oh yeah, Why just, sometimes things happen at gunpoint. Sometimes things just happen at gunpoint. Okay, and that's what happened yesterday. What? Wait, wait, Dude, wait, wait, our wait, podcast no. is ascending. We got stories now. We do got stories. Look okay. out, Twitter. All right. <laughs> wait, what the fuck? Okay, let's go explain. On. So yesterday, I got the opportunity to be a director for the first time officially. Thank you, Jared. Oh, okay. Which is really exciting. I was able to direct my first Sharknado music video. Sharknado 14. Yeah. <laughs> I was able to direct my first music video with my really good friend, Nick Nick. He was on the podcast, Nick Tuturo. Um, So that was really, really exciting. Um, Yeah, let's just set the scene. So I show up to set, it's about 2.30, broad daylight, okay? In Encino, we're in a great area. Like, not yeah. a bad area at all. Yeah. Um, And we're... The crew and I are logging, like lugging things inside, just grabbing stuff from our car. Um, I so Micah, me and Micah had gone. Um, who's Micah? Mackay yeah, or is it pronounced Mackay? You were the director on set, so it's probably good to know your actors' names. I know, but I think it's Mackay. Not a big deal. Uh, yeah, not a. I think it's Mackay. Deal. I think it's Mackay. Okay, who is he? Um, <laughs> so Mackay is the other guy in the song. Gotcha. Um, and so we were both of us went outside to just grab some more stuff from our car. I'd grab stuff, and like our cars were parked literally opposite each other, like this. Mine was on this side of the street. His was on the closest side to the house. Um, I grab some stuff from the car. I go inside, and he's following behind me, like he's just grabbing some stuff from his car, and I just. It's heavy, so I bring it inside, and the door closes behind me, and it locks automatically. This is your fault? No, it's not. Wait till you hear what happened, Jerry. I obviously, I put my stuff down, and then three minutes later, I get a knock on the door, and he goes, I just got fucking robbed at gunpoint. I went, what? What do you mean? When? He goes, right then, like, when you went inside, if you would have turned around, you would have seen it. And I went, what the fuck? What? I went, what do you mean? So flash forward to the beginning of the day. Wait, did you, wait, did you lock him out? No, I didn't. The door just locks automatically. Like I didn't lock him out. Like so, you had you had a small thing to play in the whole gunpoint no, he thing. No, did. He got robbed at gunpoint Kinda because you locked like him no, out. He accomplice. Shut up. And if you get somebody robbed at gunpoint, you at least can know their name. Why? Well, it's hard. I don't know if it's pronounced it's, it's, Mackay. Or, it we're we're matter. just joking around. I know. Um. So. <laughs> Earlier in the day, one of our crew members had seen this guy like walking up and down the street and sussing out the house. And he looked like kind of cracked out, like scabs yeah. all over his face. Like wasn't the most savory character. No, 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 no. And they like saw him and whatever. They're just like, whatever. Like they went back inside. When Makai pulled up and went out to go get stuff from his car, his car was parked. The, the, the guy that robbed him was parked right behind Makai's car. Like right behind his Classic. car. Okay. Classic. Classic. Um, like we know. And um, <laughs> Makai like could kind of see that like he was like he sussed him out and the guy was like, oh shit, I've been made because he was trying to rob the house. He was trying to rob the whole ass house while you guys he were in there? He was trying to rob the house. Like kid you not, he was trying to rob the house because he was looking in windows, trying to suss it Wasn't out. Wasn't Nick's dad on like that cop <laughs> show? He's a fake cop. He was on NYPD Blue. Okay, so he could have helped out at least. I, I said that too. He goes- yeah, let me go get my badge. <laughs> um, anyway, so Stop. so in the name. No, I was just, just talking yeah, about right. We're cutting her off too much. If we talk one more time, Jared, we gotta slap ourselves. Okay. Okay. Um. So Makai had kind of like he realized like the 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 guy had realized that he'd kind of been made because Makai saw his face and everything. Um. And so I think he just panicked and was like, "Do I either just 
roll out real quick or do I just get what I can? And Makai had a Louis Vuitton backpack, his keys, oh, his God. wallet, his jackets, like everything. He had everything on him because he was carrying it all inside. And um, yeah, he gets out of his car, holds him at gunpoint and said, just give me what you got. And he was just like, I, I got a jacket, I got the bag, take whatever. And he was just like, all right, like give me your car keys. And he was just oh. like, okay, so gave him his car keys. And uh, Makai was trying to get a plate. Like he was trying to like look at the plate. He goes, turn around, walk the other way. He was like, okay. So when the car was starting to speed off, Makai was like trying to look, but he could see that he was trying to look. So he just turned the other way. He was like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna start anything. Wait, so did he steal his car or? He didn't steal the car. He just stole the keys. So like he couldn't like go and follow him. And oh, okay. Stuff like that. But um, <laughs> uh, he lives in Redondo Beach. So his mom or somebody had to, take oh. a spare key all the way over to him. So then the car wasn't just a sitting duck waiting for him to come back and get the car, but it just broad Holy daylight shit. just got held up at gunpoint. And it really gave me such an unsettling feeling because- Because you locked him out? Yeah, I actually do feel bad about that, but I didn't <laughs> lock him out. <laughs> you Okay, okay, hear we me did out. It. The door locks by itself. No, 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 Wait. you did lock him out, but on the plus side, you saved the entire home from being robbed. So Wait, was she's it, a hero and a villain. Okay. Was it a house that was rented for the shoot or no. was it Nick's house? Nick's house. Oh, that's shit. so scary. So like, I think growing up, like I was never around guns. Guns weren't like guns are illegal in Australia unless you're on a farm hunting or you are a police enforcement. Um, and so I've never like ever feared the fact that somebody might just rob you at gunpoint. And if it does happen, it's like one in a million in Australia versus like one in a hundred over here, you know? And I think I just got so comfortable around my surroundings here. But like recently with like my car being stolen, like right out of my garage. And then like, you know, this is not the first time I've heard somebody get robbed at gunpoint in broad daylight. Like my friends got robbed at gunpoint in broad daylight at the local grocery store. Like it's just so, like it gives me such an unsettling feeling and it makes me so scared. And like, I think I just forgot that I was in the US for a second and like everyone here just does have a gun and like everyone does carry and shit like that just does happen. Luckily there Did is- Did Jared go like this for a second? Yeah, he's got two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky learning a lot from law enforcement in the last like two and a half years, there is a massive jump between a robber or somebody that's just trying to take your shit and a murderer, luckily. Yeah, I would have called his bluff. I would have been like, well, you're just shoot dead. Well, <laughs> like, the guy was, edit this podcast. <laughs> well, this isn't the first time this has happened to Makai. This guy's got bad luck. He just keeps yeah. getting locked no, out. He told so. me that he grew up in like a really bad neighborhood and, and stuff, like whatever. Um, And so he was just like, yeah, I mean like, I knew he wasn't gonna shoot. The guy was scared out of his mind, like apparently, cause he got made. Like he was like, the guy was, scared out of his mind, which in turn kind of made me a little scared because I was scared that he was just going to do something irrational. Like like him robbing me was irrational. Like he didn't, that wasn't his plan. It was His plan was to go in the house and steal some equipment. Yeah. Yeah, because we had like thousands of dollars worth of equipment just lying around the house. So um, so that's how the day started. It's a great way to start great the day. Great way to start the day. Um, and then the rest of the day honestly went really smooth. I was very proud of myself with, uh, how everything turned out. And yeah, it ended up being a really long day. We didn't wrap until about 2, 2.30. And then I got home at like uh, 2.45. And then you usually twerk. You got to do your hour twerk lesson every yeah. night. Mm -hmm. So she uh, was getting after that. Yeah, actually I didn't get home till like almost 3 a.m. And then um, I felt gross and sweaty because you get hot on set. So oh, then I had to like, I showered and then I was starving because I didn't eat all day. So I had to eat. And then, yeah, that's why I didn't go to bed till 4.30. So. But let's, let's do the math on that. So if you go to bed at 4.30, a solid eight hours is still uh, 12.30, right? And it is, it was two when we started this. Correct. I did wake up at 1.30. Solid, what is that, nine uh, hours? Like I woke up at like one actually. What time did I call you? Did you call me? I did call you and texted you. Oh, I had no idea. So maybe it was later than that. My back has been spasming so bad since Vegas. Oh, we got to tell that story too. The story is she went inside of, we got gas in Vegas. You ever heard of gas prices are soaring these days? Oh. Not, not what the story's about though. Indiana goes inside. Yeah, this is crazy. I forgot about this. Okay, let's hear it, dude. God Her damn. Her podcast is like, yeah, I remember this happening. <laughs> you guys want to hear it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm out of it today. Okay, um, okay. Uh, I was at a get. Sorry, I <laughs> it's just your first podcast. I, I've got to like this is ninety three or ninety four. <laughs> sorry, I've got to like process what's going on. So I went to a gas station. Um, 
filled up my tank, whatever. I had to go pay inside because I didn't have my cards yet or anything. So I have to Apple Pay everything. So I go inside and I go, hey, can I please get 120 on four? And the guy behind me goes, 120, four, 420. That's a good joke. That's, That's a good one. I was like, here. Were you wet at this point or no? <laughs> oh, dripping. Oh, I was oh, like, God. I was Slide like, the seat. That's a great joke. I was like, uh, yeah, like what? Well, you get it though, right? Because 420 <laughs> you know, is like spoken yeah, weed. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Like, oh. what the hell? And so he's like, pro- she just said she was wet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cashier is uh, processing or whatever. And I've got a 2000 tattoo right here. And I was wearing a tank top so you could see it if he was behind me. And so he goes, 2000. And I was just like, he was just like, who's that for? Or he's like, 2000. Is that the year you were born? And I was like, no, my brother. Like, I'm just not, I'm like giving short answers, not saying much. Because you're nervous because you're into him because of the 420 thing? Yeah. Made you wet? All right, go and ahead. he goes, uh, oh, you must love him, huh? I went, yep. What kind of question like, is, is that? that? Like, and I was like, yep. He goes, oh, you love him like that, huh? Right? You love him like that, right? And I was just like, what? Says- was he insinuating you were having sex with your brother? I, I think. And I was like, what? What a dude. The 420 <laughs> joke was already terrible. You think you're going to pick this girl up being, being like, yeah, you're into your brother, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah, you want to lick your brother, huh? And she said, what? can I get your number? No, man. <laughs> like, I'm literally like, You'd probably give what? your brother your number. <laughs> yeah, probably, because we're family, not because we're intimate. <laughs> and so I was like, what? No. And he goes, can I see it? Grabs my arm and pulls me towards him. Like, literally grabs it and goes, boom. Harassment. What like, what? literally. First grab, account. <laughs> grabs my arm and pulls it. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? He was just like, what? I just wanted to see your tattoo. And I was like, okay, but like, don't just grab me. I don't know you. Like, yeah, don't, you just, don't, don't just, don't just grab me. He was just like, oh, you got any other tattoos? And I was just like, no. Like, and he was just like, I see the one on your hand. Grabs me again. I saw number pulls two. Pulls me towards <laughs> him. And I was like, Yo, like, don't just fucking pull me. That's weird. I don't know you. Keep your hands off of me. And the cashier goes, dude, like, keep your hands off of her. Like, watch it. And he was just like, what? I just wanted to see your fucking tattoos. And I was just like, okay, that's fine. But, like, don't just pull me. Like, I don't know you. Like, don't just grab me. That's weird, dude. He goes, what? What? I'm not a pervert. I'm not a pervert. I just wanted to see your tattoos. That's like what a pervert would probably and I was say, just, though. Like, yeah. Right? Denial. I was like, I'm not a pervert. I just wanted to see your effing tattoos. Like, what the F? I just wanted to see your tattoos. And I'm like, okay, like, just, you're being weird about it, though, dude. Like, don't just grab me. It's effing weird. I don't know you. And he was just like, what? You know what? F you guys. F both of you. F, like, screaming. And then he goes, F you both, and then just leaves. And, I was and like, then I was in the car. I see all this happen, and I get out, and I obviously I beat the guy up. Um, but no, <laughs> I didn't know that, that any of this happened because my knee was hurting, and I was sitting in the car because I can't walk very well because I retweaked my knee. So actually, I didn't help at all, and I was just an innocent bystander. <laughs> um, also, my GoFundMe's in the link, and I want to walk again if you guys want to help oh, out. Small plug, small plug. It's been really bad. His knee's been buckling. Yeah, it, but I, I've been um falling recently. Oh, which, like which, which it's he just. Do we ra- need to get you life alert? Um, I um. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe a good at investment. At random, he'll just be like absolutely falling. He'll just be like, oh, like an old man. But I, oh, dude, I appreciate, I, I just want to say appreciation really quick to everyone who's helped out with the GoFundMe. Don't help out if you don't have the money. First, want to say that, but somebody anonymously donated a thousand dollars. I don't know who it is. Shut up. Really? He did it when? before and I were the other day. Oh, I wanted right. to bring it up. I don't know who it was. No way. Oh, it's like the sweetest thing ever. Cause okay. As you guys know, uh, we lost all our money on this podcast cause somebody stole it. Have we told that story yet? We oh, should eventually yeah. be. And then um, if we haven't, let us know in the comments. We'll tell it again. And I haven't had a brand deal, and I don't even know the last time I did. And if the last one wasn't very much, because I, I just got a manager, and we might have a brand deal soon. <gasps> really? But I don't know. He's in talks right now, so I'm pretty excited. Talks it, is exciting. Then I could pay for rent. And then I could help out with my knee. Basically, those two things. <laughs> Basically, those, those, those are the only two things I really need covered and right food, now. And food. That would be really exciting. That would be yep, really exciting. Would be really well, exciting. if you're the person that donated yeah. that, thank you. Thank you. So, well, and anybody, even if you donated a dollar, a five dollars. I've been trying to DM everyone back that has said that they have donated. So if I haven't, if I've missed you, please DM me again. I'm not trying to be an a-hole, as the kids say. Well, cool. I'm sorry about the harassment and assault and the gunpoint mm. thing, but it it's happens. It's a bit of a wild one. Jesus Christ. There's There's been a lot of crime happening recently. Yeah, there LA. has been. Well, when we're talking to- Only crime to, is that haircut, Jerry. When the cops <laughs> right? up, hey. Just kidding. I love the haircut. When I the like co- it. I do, too. It was just a small joke. <laughs> I know. Your hair looks good. Thank it you. It does look good. When the cops uh, came, which they came in 20 minutes this time, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe minutes. maybe a gun a speeds gun things up. Yeah. Um, so when they came, they came in 20 minutes, he was like, 
I was just like, Gotham City out here recently. I went, <laughs> I'm Batman. And I got the reference because I just saw Batman. And I was like, what? What do you mean? Like, that's that's pretty bad. Scar- that's a scary <laughs> ass movie to that, be living in. I was like, that, that's pretty bad. Like, you for real? And then uh, it was actually pretty funny because Nick, Nick's dad obviously was on NYPD Blue. Didn't help out at all. And, no. um, you know, it's actually kind of funny because he was talking, the cops like talked to him like, like they're one of, yeah, like he's, he's one of them. He knows their lingo. Like he's one of them and he's just like asking if he knows anything and like talking to him like they're buddies because they're like, yeah, we really like your work, man. And we love da da da. And he was just like, y'all know I'm a fake cop. Right? Like <laughs> I can't do anything like just so we're clear. Like, and he says that he's had to remind cops about that before just because they start talking to him like he knows what's up. And he's like, Fucking, I've read lines, man. I don't, I don't know. Like, That's really funny. Yeah, it was funny. really funny. Um, I don't know if anybody cares about this, so I'm going to keep it very brief and sweet. Um, I, I write scripts and movies and, and TV shows and oh, stuff. This is and it's, it's been very, it's been a very daunting task. I've been writing this one movie for, feels like like four years now. I don't know how long it's actually been. It's been, probably close to that time but um i met with a director like a prominent director who's who's made like four movies that have got over 100 million dollars i don't want to say his name yet in case we end up not working together um that would be sick if you do. i got on a call with him uh, our manager set it up um and he read my script and he's like hey man um i basically want to say that i get about 100 scripts a week they all claim that they're going to be funny and this one actually was oh. like I, it'd be great to work together hopefully and my manager said it should it looks good but um i'm gonna keep it brief because probably people might not care about this type of stuff no, but people, I, think I might have a movie director Zach, i think this is that would be sick I'm and gonna, then watch next week he backs out and i'm like <laughs> i'm gonna turn i'm gonna chirp in chime in is what i meant to say um you downplay a lot of incredible incredible things because you don't want to like jinx things or just like not. no i don't care about jinxing things i am the man you're right <laughs> and i'm good looking and i'm humble but this is like a huge deal. This director has directed one of my favorite childhood movies, which I think is so cool. One of the two wh- of my favorite childhood movies, actually. Probably four or five of mine. And anyway, um, it's just kind of funny to think about how Jared and I were living in a two bedroom apartment, eating the same meal every single day for a year, and then mm. potentially have like a pretty big director on a, something I actually wrote that I was working on while I was living in that hellhole. Yeah. Really? So that's a that's a good thing. Like, um I remember when we shared the the master bedroom right there and like I would be you'd be sitting at your little IKEA desk uh, at the foot of your twin bed and I'd be sitting on my twin bed and you'd be asking me like if these ideas were funny, like for a scene or not. And like, we would run lines back and forth. Like how would this character say this? What's a joke we could put there? And like to see it, like go from that to, you know, you're taking all these meetings and actually getting funding. And like, people are like actually have vested interest in your scripts and whatnot. It's like, well, yeah, it's when I, so cool. When we lived in the two bedroom, 10 people apartment, I had my little, gross cubby hole and I would leave every day. I would go to the local library and I would write because it's the only place I could be alone. Ooh, and and it was just not like pee in there. Yeah, Libraries well, in was, LA always smell that way. Well, it was just me and homeless people. Like that's not even a joke because that's where they would go. Cause they're allowed to go in there for free. And uh, they would go there and then watch porn. They would watch porn on the, on the computers, yeah. which, and then they, they'd someone be like, you can't I do, do that. I do not want to see what the underneath of those desks look like. Oh, but anyway, hopefully. So send some good vibes to me. Uh, Anyway, I won't talk about it anymore. I don't like being boastful. Oh, it's very, very exciting. I mean, the whole point of this podcast is to be boastful. We're talking about our lives and what we're doing. Speaking of good feelings, what's the best feeling in the world? Because I got an answer, but I want to hear your guys' first. And don't be like, orgasm, dude. No, no think no. a little bit. For me, it's when you find a song that perfectly relates to whatever like situation or head my, like mindset that you're in. Okay. I was thinking more like, I wasn't thinking that deep in things. It doesn't have to be. After a long day at the beach and you're sweaty and gross and you get into a nice warm shower. That's a great, honestly, a, and, then you, and you know your, your family's about to go out to eat after that. Yep. It oh. is you're you're going to be eating like fries. Do you know Stop. what? This is making me excited for, for San, San Diego. Diego. I am, I've literally, been, like I just get butterflies. Like I was literally, I've been talking about this for months now. Like I'm so excited for this San Diego trip. Like, I don't know why, like I'm so excited to like, walk the boardwalk and then like go to the beach and then have that feeling of coming home and showering and then only having 10 minutes before we all go to PBL house and eat dinner and what about my best feeling in the world what, sorry what's your best feeling in the world Zach? it's okay 
No. No. Say it. We just explain No, it's okay. I don't deserve to talk. Dad. No, it's okay. I hate myself what are you too. Ta- no, shut <laughs> up. Stop that. I think I'm actually just going to cry real quick. Sorry, trauma. <laughs> we just got lost on a tangent about your family it's, vacation. It, yeah, I my love, family vacation. No, you guys have been hijacking <laughs> for three, four years now. This is the third year. Three P. I'm going to be, I'm just excited that I've made it three years. Jared's also made it three years. I know, but like, him. I did not think I'd make it past the first. Oh, trust I me. Didn't think we you didn't made either. It to the I first know. Based on family reviews. <laughs> I know. It's so funny how far Miss Gina and I's relationship has gone. Like, it's gotten to the point now where I could literally call her and be like, I just, I'm having this problem. And she's like, okay, sweetie, like, let me just talk to you about it. And like, and then like, I don't know, like I send her photos of the shampoo I'm trying and she's just like, oh, let me know how it goes. Like, just things like that. Like, we literally are talking about really random things and every time i go to vegas just us two will go out to a coffee shop and go get coffee and just like please stop hanging out with my mom without my consent thank you and my favorite feeling in the world (laughs) we'll mainly talk about youtube by the way and then um okay what's your favorite feeling kickball okay when you walk up to the plate oh and the pit and the pitcher goes everybody back up oh yeah oh my god Talk about an ego rub out. Oh my gosh. Cause there's nothing better. Cause he's like, yeah, I can kick a ball for Dude, that is an ego gluck gluck 3000. Everybody back up. He's got a big leg. <laughs> and we're, and, oh dude, nothing's better. And then you got to perform though. Oh, I know. Could you like, there See, that would make me feel nervous. Like I'd be like, I'd feel good for about two seconds. Then I'd be like, Shit, no, really there was in elementary school, there was this gate and it was right behind the kickball field. And if you kicked it behind there, like you kicked it over the gate, basically a home run. You were the coolest kid ever. And I was always a small guy. I could still kick it pretty far. And then one day I just came up and I winded, I winded this leg up that's now broken. And I sent it to the stands, baby. I sent it, <laughs> I sent it over the, the fence and I've euphoria. I've never felt happier in my entire life. I peaked in that moment. I wish I would have ended it there because honestly, it's all been downhill. <laughs> but so great. Um, also another thing I wanted to bring up was this funny TikTok I found of this. I don't, we won't play it. I'll just say what happened. So this guy, he, he talks about like weird ways that your parents punished you when you were younger. I don't know if any of us have stories, but his, oh, I totally do. But his story was, um, yeah. So if I did something bad, like break a dish or whatever it was, my dad would go outside and smoke cigarettes. And that's the only time he would ever smoke cigarettes was when uh, I got in trouble, when he got in trouble is what are you saying? That's like so and psychological no, warfare. And the, it gets and the worse. Mom, the mom like would grab him by like the shoulder and take him and like look out the window and say, look, your dad's killing himself because of what you did. Is that not- What the fuck? Absolutely traumatic. It's wild. That is terrible. Genius. But why? Not genius. You're right. Is, you're, I'm against you're, it. You're terrible. scarring your child. The funniest thing I've heard, but you're right, scarring. That is terrible. My, my parents were both like, we're, we're, bar- we're loud Italian family. So we'd, you know, yell and scream and cuss. You and are whatever. a loud Italian family. Mm-hmm. But well, when that, I, when that's I That's the did- best part of being in an Italian family though. That and the food. Wild. Yeah, that, that and the food. food. Yeah. Cause I mean, you're Italian. That means you're a great cook. How's your lasagna? <laughs> Just a question. Did we talk about this on the podcast? No. Okay. Re- really quick. No, no, no. You're a great, great cook now. I will gas you up all day because you're turned into a prodigy of cooking. And you used to tell me that you were a terrible cook and you can never learn. And then you tried out some recipes. And now, legitimately, I love your food more than most people's. Okay? So I'm going to gas you up for a second. But this- so I can tear you the so fuck down. So I can tear you down, baby. So this is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> okay. I want to start off by saying it was sweet. Uh, right? This was at the beginning of our relationship <laughs> of hanging out, me, you, and Jared. You invited us over. You're like, I'm making lasagna. And Jared are excited because we still can't really afford food. So we're so excited to go eat. And like lasagna is like an expensive thing. To- and lasagna is also one of my favorite foods yeah. on this planet Earth. And you invited us over for lasagna. And we're super excited <laughs> that you're making it because um, you're a proud Italian family. And, and then, we're like going to get authentic lasagna. And then, um, I saw a couple things you put in it that were questioning for me. I was like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not Italian though. I'm also not a cook, so yeah. I can't really judge. I was like, never seen lasagna this way, but here we go. There's no noodles in this, but that's fine. Um, what? Yes, there was. There was like crunchy. I don't know what they were. These are noodles. Did you not cook them? They're oven baked one. Okay. Oh my God. I don't think she cooked them. Nope. Anyway, um, no, she, they, she they gives it. She, <laughs> <laughs> well, are you sure about that? Depends yeah. on what you were tasting. They're not the good ones. It's a long story. <laughs> we're I caught up on that part. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So she gives us a lasagna and 
trust us when we're saying Jared and I would eat anything at this point that wasn't the same foods that we're already eating every single day. That was a dollar at the dollar store. And we take a bite and both of us look at each other and we're like, I don't think we can finish this. I legitimately don't think we can finish this. This is okay. Is reiterating something. amazing cook right now. You are back then. Oh, one of the worst foods I've ever <laughs> I've okay. You remember school lunch lasagna? Yeah, I would eat that for the rest of my life before I eat this. <laughs> Do you agree? Oh, a hundred percent. And you invited so many people over to have it too. And I was like, is everyone because everyone else is like, this is the best thing I've ever eaten. I was like, are we sure about this? Zach and I would like are still have our first bites in our mouth. We talked about that for a week afterwards. <laughs> Every yeah. day we're like, can you believe that lasagna? <laughs> As we're making like the same broke boy meals that we've been eating. <laughs> Okay, I will say I wasn't too good of a cook back then because I didn't really follow recipes and I only made like the same two things. But now I feel like, yeah, you're right. I feel like I have stepped up. The banana bread I made the other day. Oh, that banana bread was good. That banana bread. I think the so secret good. was that you overloaded it with chocolate I chips. Did and that was it. my favorite part. I did overload it with chocolate chips, but it was moist. And you don't like banana bread, but if you did, it, you'd like this. But that lasagna. So sorry. It, it was dry. <laughs> it was crunchy. It was it was it was Jared was around any girl dry <laughs> and the sauce was watery. <laughs> I'll have to make another lasagna and we, oh, oh yeah. that's what we should do. Wait, for wait, next this, week. this is just us. I'll like, do it next week. Next week I'll make a lasagna and you guys can try it and let me know if it's better. This is great. We went like we went from roasting her for a little bit of content to getting free food. No, you're right. <laughs> I, I probably wasn't a good cook. We back should then, start. But. Yeah, but you can't fold clothes either <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and clean my room. You probably suck at doing laundry. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's cut to a new segment. So we've got a new segment on the podcast this week: uncomfort zone. Where um, your guys' least favorite guest that we've ever had on, John. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't hate him anymore. He's trying to redeem himself with this little series. <laughs> also, we do hate him. So if you feel free to hate him as well. Each week or when he can, he's going to, John lives a very adventurous life. He's going to take us on adventures that we don't know where, where we're going or what we're doing until we get there. And Jared was the first participant this week. And when he, they went kind of a little bit more mild, but this is like dipping our toes in. We have so many plans of some amazing, crazy, disgusting things we're going to get you and Indy involved in. Uh, and, why not you? Well, I'm busy. You. So you're not. Busy. And I'm a great reactor. Cause I'll, like, I'll be yeah, like, you guys did that. You're <gasps> a great reactor. So you should do the thing so that you can. Okay. So uh, Jared, you agreed. You'd be like, yeah, it'd be fun to get out of my comfort zone every week and with John and. And then I told you you were actually doing it, and your I, heart was beating what twice as fast? Uh, maybe three times as fast. Honestly, um, I got viscerally angry. Um, I was just yeah, like, "You, you are uncharacteristically <laughs> angry today." Yeah, like even Zach, Zach of all people, told me that I needed to be happier. Can I have such a darkness inside me. I know that if I left the world, it'd be a brighter place. Oh wow! That's, okay, uh, I think I think my thing was just like the anxiety of the surprise was getting to me. Or, you know, there's too much fluff here. This is supposed to be a segment. Basically, the segment is John takes us and, do, and we get out of our comfort zone every week, and then we come back and tell the funny story. Hopefully, it's funny. All right, let's get into it. Don't you hate when people are fluffing around? That's what we were doing. Was, we we had a much uh, different thing planned for you today, but we didn't get the. I don't want to spoil it. We didn't get the thing done in time that we had to do. So we had, we came up with this idea fault. on the fly. So we had an hour to get you there. Where, where did you take him today, John? I took him to a sound bath. So we went sound bathing today. You went, but it was like <laughs> uh, astrological sound bathing to welcome the new Aries astrological year with the new moon. Jared was scared the entire day of doing this uh, activity with John. And John, you drove him an hour to Manhattan Beach. I did. And where did you think you were going to be going with John? I had no idea. As soon as like, what, what rattles your mind initially? Well, so we're driving down the 405, and before I knew it, I saw the sign for LAX and Long Beach. Do you know what we're close to? What are we close? To? The airport? Yeah. Why are we going to the fucking airport, John? I don't know. I guess you'll find out. You, you think you're going getting on a the, flight? I thought, yeah, I legitimately thought we were going to hop on like a 45 minute flight to like Vegas or like an hour flight to like Salt Lake City or That's something. That's a good idea though. Mm, oh, that, that is a good idea. You know, like just completely because who's going to expect to get on the flight? So I thought that we passed the airport and then we started driving down the coast and I was like, why are we going to the beach? Um, and 
I immediately started thinking, I was like, oh my fucking God, we're doing surfing lessons. I thought it's another good idea. It's 65 degrees outside right now and windy. I was like, this ocean is going to be an icicle out there. You know, like it's just, and you guys did this on the beach with an instructor Uh huh. and you guys charged up your, your, your rocks are clear quartz. That is correct. And Jared didn't know what I was doing. And, um, it said in the description, like bring blankets, bring all this stuff. So he sees me packing a bag for him. And then I'd grab a giant rock that we just have. I didn't even see you grab the, rock. I don't know if you can charge those type of rocks. I don't think it's, I don't know. Oh, it's charged. Obviously it's you definitely, charged. obviously you can't charge any rocks if we're just being honest, but, um, um I- well, we'll Look, get into that. So I, I just put... Don't touch me. You might get shocked. Nope. <laughs> what were your initial thoughts when you found out you were going sunbathing in the Zodiac signs? Sound bathing. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sun wasn't out at first. No, it was very like overcast. And we're walking up. And John tells me as we're walking up. Because he was like, he's like, okay, we have to be kind of serious going into this. Because <laughs> we can't be like making fun of it. And he's like, we're sound bathing, blah, blah, blah. And it's like overcast right now. And uh, and I'm going to be honest, when we're laying out our blanket and everything, I was trying so hard to not <laughs> laugh. And like, How many people were there? There's probably like eight other people there. Yeah, I think it was like 10 total. I don't know. That one guy got a pick at the end. So like, Yeah, the, there's an official pick somewhere uh, well run me through like what what is it like what they she so she was sitting on this blanket and then she had seven different like bowls and they were all made of different minerals they're all made out of quartz infused with different like minerals and crystals and stuff okay. like that that's why they had the good ring to them this is okay. where the avengers started right this is how they got their powers <laughs> <laughs> each of the seven bowls related to <laughs> one of the seven chakras so anyway so we sit down and she starts explaining um what we're going to be doing and basically she was like we're going to start off with like a little breathing exercise and meditation where you're going to like align your your heart center and this is where i I couldn't stop laughing i literally john and i are wrapped up in towels because it's cold and windy (laughs) the guy next to us had a sleeping bag yeah the guy next to us had a whole ass sleeping bag he's done this before oh yeah he's He's seen an aries moon once or twice in his life (laughs) yeah and so i literally like i had this towel wrapped around me and i keep like ducking my face into the towel because i'm i'm i know i'm going to start uncontrollably laughing Um, but she said that was okay she said that was okay oh she noticed you weren't taking it seriously no 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 if you're gonna go sound bathing take it seriously jared i I, it was just like it was just the initial kind of shock of it right of just like this seems ridiculous um how did it start how did the lesson start do you have a wine glass here why i feel like i should we should demonstrate can i uh take two seconds and peruse your cabinets sure we have all ikea stuff i mean and we don't drink wine This is, picture this, Zach. Imagine it's like infused with this. Okay, I'm imagining. I think I can put two and two together. And basically, this is what we did. (laughs) Wow. Put it towards the mic. I don't know if it, I think it needs to be grounded. I don't think it was working <laughs> regardless. I think it was working. I don't think so. I think that was I'm just, trying to sound bathe, y'all. I think that was just the sound of it scraping. <laughs> so why did you guys need to pay $70 if we're getting it right here? So this is what you guys did for how long? An hour. It was the it was not the right tool for conducive conducive frequencies. Okay, yeah. So we're laying on the beach and it's cold and we meditate and we center ourselves and then she tells us to lie down on the ground and this is when our sleeping bag friend cocoons up. Dude, he, <laughs> oh, he, he knew. Knocks out. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> just fell asleep? <laughs> no, but we, uh, like, I'm, sit- I'm laying down and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to be bathed and then she hits the first one like this. <laughs> no, we got it. <laughs> and I gone immediately Asleep? put in a trance just boom and i and we were cold because you it, got hypnotized that's it, what it felt it, like that's exactly what was this get like. out what'd you guys do it, yeah we sunk into the floor yeah like it, it was it was also we were cold and as soon as she hit that like we're okay we're on a, a, a comforter and we have two small bath towels and then what i'm wearing now and what you're wearing now yeah like we were not prepared to sit in the windy beach in manhattan beach and then she goes, ding, 
I'm out and I'm warm. And then yeah. in my like mind's eye, my third eye, which is right here, which I learned today, <laughs> um, I, I felt like I was being lifted on a platform. And when you like normally close your eyes, like you know how it's like black when you shut your eyes. I do, yeah, I've I've experienced that. It was blinking, blinding white. I felt the same thing too. It it was blindingly white. It was like I was like I stepped into the light, and then I don't know. Did you guys meet God today? What happened? I think so. It it was nuts. You guys went to God's and meet and greet without me. <laughs> <laughs> and so before thirty three dollars to meet God, that's a great price. Yeah, that's exactly. Great, so before we did that, like we we did some breathing exercises, that centered ourselves, and then we also wrote on these like heart sh- sharp heart shaped pieces of paper, like things that we wanted to uh, let go of, what we wanted to attract and like what'd what, you guys what write? We, what'd you write? I, w- I wrote overthinking. Good uh, luck. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Is> that- <laughs> Good luck. We had to write in what we're calling in. I wrote creativity. Wow, John really simplified it. I, I what did kinda, you do, dude? I wrote like a novel about. How like, you wrote a novel <laughs> on this card? <laughs> I simplified because of space. <laughs> that I should have done that. Basically, I I did like very similar things. I was just like I wanted to let go of my negative self image and my imposter syndrome just with life. It sounds I was like you guys transcended today. I, I wanted to attract what do I want to attract? What if you're just like big booty women around the chair? <laughs> Not the point of the exercise, buddy. <laughs> I wanted to attract um like self love and self worth. Yeah. Um parentheses big booty women. <laughs> and boundaries to establish a healthier lifestyle, right? Um, that's what I wrote, but it definitely could have been simplified. You guys got turned into granola boys just from her hitting the side. I, of the, I don't know how to explain it. Like each each of the bowls is like sized and the, the frequency that they resonate is meant to resonate with a specific chakra. Pull, pull chakra. Up a, how pull would you guys get paid to pitch this? Huh? How much are you guys getting paid to pitch We're this? We're not getting paid to pitch Look. this. It's literally, it was like. So you felt something magical today. Yeah. And so, okay. So for. Wait, here's the chakra chart. All right. Pull up the Chikorita chart. I wrote down like three things for each of like what I wanted to let go and what I wanted to attract. Um, and so first my mind goes like blindingly white, right? When, when you close your eyes. And then I told John. I started seeing, I saw like a bunch of uh, um, pink orbs. Gotcha. And then how, how many mushrooms did they inject in you while your <laughs> eyes were closed? <laughs> um, okay. John pulled up, wanted me to pull up. So there's the crown chakra, the third eye chakra, the throat chakra, the heart chakra, the solar plexus chakra. <laughs> okay. That's a, that's a, a move in WWE, but I got you. <laughs> <laughs> the s- sacral chakra and the root chakra. Jared, um, I'm trying to get in your root chakra. <laughs> Wait, so so each of these bowls correlated with one of these. Yeah. And so I wonder if the first one, because you and I both felt it here. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that was the third eye chakra that she started with. We definitely, like, hit something with our third eye chakra. <laughs> I mean, we were out. But both of us experienced... So he had these dots. I didn't... I had, like, random images that I don't remember what they were. I cannot recall what it was. It was, was. just Cars 2. <laughs> <It's> like, oh, <laughs> wow, I love this flick. <laughs> yeah, and then she said Kachow, and I was, I was like, like, my chakra. Wow. <laughs> no, but we both, like, woke, w- like, came to, but it wasn't, it wasn't, like, I woke up. It Were was your guys' like, pants unzipped? Like, are you guys sure you didn't get drugged? What was going <laughs> no, on? No, it was sound no. bath. Like, it was legitimately kind of magical. So um, it was a it was a decent experience. Yeah. Right. And so like each of these orbs, like so John was getting these images that he couldn't really like he doesn't really remember. I don't know what they really, were. But these it orbs just looked like what Steve drew on the little flip panels in Blue's Clues. <laughs> <laughs> but these orbs for me, they would like they would orbit and they would float and then one would come to the the front and it would show me the like the exact like image of what I was trying to let go. Or like or attract in that moment, and so it did that until there were none left, and then, then we we came to. But we came to at different points, and and I came when I came to, I was aware of my chest, and so I think she was on the heart chakra bowl whenever I came to. But I didn't come to like fully. It was like I was watching myself laying there, and then I started thinking about Chick Fil A. 
This was okay. This was supposed to be a funny thing that we take Jared to be like, haha, we did this crystal thing, and now you guys are in a cult. <laughs> but- I don't think we're necessarily in a cult. So he felt it in his heart. Do you when guys he think like up. your chakras like align since you were so close into the spiritual realm and you guys are intertwined together forever? Like, did we like are we connected now? Probably. I feel like it's like yeah. Avatar when you guys put your braids together. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it felt like. Wait, where did you, when you came to, where did you feel it? I felt it in my back. Which part? Oh, of your, your back? solar plexa. No, I plexus. just, I, I just looked that up. That's in the stomach. Um, I think the sacral is, Sa- is it sacral or sacral? Sacral. I don't know how you cover it. Let's um, see what the internet says. Oh, I don't think it's a s- sacral chakra. Cause it, this says it's associated with the sex organs and kidneys, though it isn't supported. <laughs> <laughs> Though it isn't supported by scientific research. <laughs> oh, who'd have thought? <laughs> okay, so after well, your sacral, sacral. Thanks for clearing that up. Sacral. So after you guys uh, came to, how much? How much was left in the lesson? We don't know because at the end of it, we were like, okay, and then uh, the guy in the sleeping bag next to us goes, "So, how was your first hour?" And we were both like. Dude, you could have told me we were there for five minutes and I would have believed you. Like you guys were definitely in the upside down. It was nuts. We were somewhere. No but money left in your wallets. Like what was going on here? No, nah, I, I if anything, I think I had more money in my wallet when I left. <laughs> my spiritual wallet. Was so weird. how do how do you feel after your experience? I felt like the best way for me to articulate how I felt after the experience, I had a whiteboard inside me and someone erased it. Is that a good or bad thing? I don't know. I feel like it's good because I feel lighter. I feel taller. Oh, Tinder's going to love that one. <laughs> <laughs> now I can finally change my height to six feet instead of 5'11". It was like a reset. Yeah, that's exactly how it felt. Y'all you bunch know? of foo-foo. How do you feel, Jared? Amazing. Like, I feel like... Uh, Are you guys going to start going to this every week? Uh, there's one on Earth Day. There's one on Earth Day. There's one on the next full moon. Um, if you want to go to that one, Zach. <laughs> Don't you look at me and ask me that. <laughs> I think you should go. I think you should go. I wonder. I if think you and Indy should go. We should all go together. This is wild. This was supposed to be a funny thing like, <laughs> oh, we took Jared here for this bit. You guys come back. Apostles. <laughs> apostles <laughs> of the fossils that are your chakras. I stand by it. I did it again. I feel like it's I, like. I would also do it again. It's like a haircut. I don't get haircuts really, but like I was gonna say that <laughs> fucking lion man. It's, it, but it, it's like it's like a, a routine. You a go routine realignment. It's like realigning your tires. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Or an oil change. Exactly. But it's a chakra. Well, I, I'm actually glad you guys had a good time. I'm just trying to be the devil's advocate over here um, to gotta give also, the guys some comedy. But I'm glad you guys found some value in it. I what if it. you guys close your eyes, saw God, and it was just me? <laughs> <laughs> I would, hello i think i would go drown myself in your the entire ocean. life has led up to this moment you think i was in your life just as zach the funny guy no here i am why why that accent yeah this why is, are you british well, i don't i don't I'm think not, that's british this is god's accent hello? which is what i created it i don't know i created everything <laughs> the arrogance coming from this man over not here. arrogance but all right praise me anyway <laughs> <laughs> will you be attending the next sound I, after I, this no you have to come with us for one I think it'll do you a lot of good. You need to come. What's your resistance to coming? Oh, well, it's mostly I just can't get there anymore. Um, hey, guys. Uh, also, DM me some more things that um, Jared or Indy or I or any of us can go like get out of our comfort zone and, and try. I think it'd be fun to like garner up a list. So this was fun. I honestly thought it was, you guys were going to have a different experience. Wait, you're not answering the question. What, what? what are you? Why are you resistant to going to the sound bath? Um, Mostly, I don't feel like driving all the way down there. I will drive. John will drive. Yeah, you know, and then just I—that's the one thing you can do right now. I'm just now. gonna sit in my room and listen to Blink Blink eighty Blink one eighty two in the <laughs> bathtub. And if that's not sound bathing, I don't know what is. <laughs> I'm gonna teach my own class. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm gonna do next time. You guys go to your class. I'm gonna teach a class right next to it where I just blare music <laughs> and we're all just rocking out. Everybody's gonna be like, "That that class is sick." Can we go to that class? He'd be like, "No." What, what What are you teaching? How to be sick with it. Thank you for going with me, Jared. That was You're a really so well, thank nice you for moment taking we had me, together. Stay tuned next time for another Uncomfort Zone. Uncomfort Zone. It, it, it should Did be I Discomfort like... Zone, but since we're dropouts, that would be funny for Uncomfort Zone. Sound um, less educated. Anyway, back to your regularly scheduled podcast. What were we talking about before the we just, we just Right there, we just cut the John segment. I think well, it's funny. One more thing I want to bring up. I, so Elon Musk, 
I, I kind of want to talk about Elon Musk for a second because it was funny. He was not com- where I thought you'd go with this. No, he was okay. complaining on Twitter the other day that it was way too censored. Oh, okay. And he was like, this is basically the public forum of free speech for the United States and the world. I don't know. But I don't think it is. So he, yeah. he's I like, think it's a privately owned company. <laughs> I'll get to that. So basically he's saying it shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be censored. It should be free speech, blah, blah, blah. And everybody was like saying stuff at him. And then somebody tweeted at him, like, why don't you start your own social network or why don't you just like buy Twitter? So he invested $3 billion and now he is the, the largest the, f- the largest stakeholder in Twitter. He has 9.2%. And Jack Dorsey, who started Twitter, has 2.25%. Shut the hell up. So now he owns more of Twitter than anyone. That is the definition of fuck, fuck you, you money. money. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine, That's insane. He just bought it. He's yeah. like, yeah, I'll just, cool. I'm, I'm the you biggest just, shareholder. So I probably got a seat at the board to have some opinions on this stuff now. Oh my God. And instead of like and just starting another social network, he's like, oh, one of the like top five biggest social networks ever. I'll just buy it. Yeah, I've got I've got most of that now just because I wanted to. But in my opinion, isn't he like the richest man in the world? That's right? still Jeff Bezos. Oh, is it? I don't think it is because he had the split half with his wife. I think he passed oh, it up. Oh, yeah. I forgot that he got a divorce. Oh, dude. Sorry, man. If you uh, want to come and talk, talk about it on the podcast, we're yeah. here for you. Uh, I've my mom's been through two divorces. So technically I've experienced the trauma of both of those and feel free to ask know me any what questions. I would, if Jeff Bezos was here, I don't even know. I'd just be like, thanks for Amazon, man. But also like F you because I spend all my money on yeah. Amazon. No, Elon Musk is the yeah. richest man in the world. Yeah. $212 billion. Do you know what I think is, bad. do you know what personally I think is incredible though? Because you know how many times that like we all go like, if this person would just do this with their money, like this would be so much better. And like, I feel like Elon Musk really is that person. Like he really does just, does, he listens to the public and he's just like, you're right. Okay, here you go. Yeah, he's like a socially awkward man of the people. For real, he really is. Jeff like Bezos that. still has a hundred, but look at this divide. 212 billion is- He's definitely not the richest in the world though. He's the richest known in the world. Oh, good yeah. point. There's there's some people that don't tell you how much money they got and they got it in like, there's this one family that has it in the, like the trillions. Shut the hell up. Mm-hmm. That's like some Illuminati level oh, of money. Like, would you join the Illuminati? Well, there we go. <laughs> How much no. money what? are you making in the Illuminati? I mean, you get, it's basically a guarantee of your wildest riches in, or your wildest fame. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Sex face of Wait, disappointment. What's the bad part about it? Well, I, well you, you would ask that before you, you, you just signed your soul away. So no, you don't get yet. to ask anymore. It's not the paper. What are the bad? There isn't a paper. The it's a sign with the, de- like the devil's taking over your soul now. You said yes. But tell me the cons. I fun being famous. Can you oh, tell me the cons? Our dropouts podcast is going to go through the roof. Why? Because exactly. she's going to be famous and be, wait, she might leave us. No, I really wouldn't do that. If I ever got big enough. I think this would be great to continue to do. Like, I mean, Can imagine. put that to if, pen, pen to paper? <laughs> yeah. Imagine if I got as big as Zendaya or any of us, just, like, you got as big as Brad Pitt, you got as big as Diplo and I got as big as Zendaya and we're just all sitting here just like. In the same apartment. <laughs> I think it will all be re- irrelevant in probably three months. I didn't think so. Not even that we've ever reached relevancy, but um, I think we've reached a little bit. Love we the optimism, did. but I could care less about any of us, and I'm one of us. <laughs> Wait, can you, can someone please explain to me the cons of the Illuminati? Because I want to know if I'd actually join. We gotta ask some people. Yeah, we we'll gotta, get them on the podcast. We gotta do some research. Yeah, because if it's like if it involves like killing and stuff, then like mm, there I'm might not, be some human sacrifices. Yeah, I'm most not likely for that. like selling your soul. To I don't the really devil. care about that because like. That doesn't really phase You're me. You're going to hell anyway. After but that like lasagna, the whole you selling, <laughs> actually, the whole selling of the soul thing, just like, you can't sell your soul. Like, that doesn't. Mm, Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, that just, no, that doesn't. I don't believe in that stuff. Like, I really, really don't. So it's just like, okay, like, uh, like, I'll do it. Like, but it's like, no, you can't, no. Um, you say that until somehow. Like, the demon. actual physical, like, killing of somebody or sacker, I could never do. So. Um, are you against, against incest jokes? Depends. Okay. So Jared, you're going to pretend uh, you're our dad and we're siblings. We're going to tell you that we are hooking up and we're going to see your um, reaction. Well, I mean, after the guy that in the gas station, he seems, seems like okay they, he seem, they seem to work. I think it's the next wave of acceptance. So um, let's set the scene. Uh, we just walked into oh, the God. kitchen. You're making uh, your famous garlic bread and uh, we come up to you, um, brother and sister, which we're not internet. Yeah. We're, this and we're isn't gonna pretend, helping our uh, case. Huh? Yeah, seriously, this is. It might give us a new case. Okay. Can ready? we do it to you and can you be our dad? Because I don't want people thinking that we're brother and sister again. It's so annoying. Fine. Oh, no, we can do it. No, no, I'll be the dad. Chop, right. chop, 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 chop. 
Oh, I love garlic bread. Uh, That's so good. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, hey, son. Hey, Dad. All right. Wait, can, before you guys start, can I just say something? I love you two so much. And I've just been thinking about it. I don't think that there's anything in this world that would ever make me love you less than I do now because I'm overflowing. I'm, I'm like a cup overflowing with love for you. Anyway, go ahead. I just want, I've been meaning to tell you guys that. You guys, that's, that's perfect. perfect. That's you guys perfect. have never disappointed me. Well, just a picture perfect kids. Go ahead. I'm well, so sorry. We just wanted to tell you that speaking, anything. Speaking, speaking of, of love. Of love. We. Wait, oh, wait. Are you guys, are you guys dating someone? Yeah, we yeah. actually are. Her. Oh, that girl from your school. Oh, who are you? Sorry, we'll go with her first. Who are you yeah, dating? Yeah. You're you're dating from Ladies somebody from your this school. Guy, yeah, yeah. Actually, he lives really close. Oh, that's per well. As long as he's a good guy, I got to meet this guy yeah, with a is. shotgun. Am I right? Hey, we'll meet him together. On Jared, we sure will. Um, yeah. it's it's Jared. Yeah, Jared's gonna meet no, the guy with no, us. No, I'm I'm dating Jared. <laughs> I'm all one for comedy, I'm but this the, is a I'm the good guy. This is a don't weird. come at me with a shotgun. I'm all, <laughs> I get it. No, you no, guys no. are hilarious. No, we're actually. You guys are literally comedy. So no, we're, we're actually. You guys dating. want garlic bread, huh? We're actually I would dating. love some garlic bread, but we are dating. And we're in love. Madly. What? Passionately. Sexually. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressively. How? I don't believe you. Well. I mean, should we? How can we prove it to you? Like, all right, hide to a black screen. <laughs> Make kissy noises. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! All right, on black screen. What does that does that prove it? Why you? are you guys doing this? Is what is your mother gonna think? Um, she's in on it. Yeah, she. She's in a. It's a thruple now. Uh huh. Yeah, you know what? We, we actually oh, came. We actually we came, came to, to talk you. to you about making it just like a, a family thing. Yeah. You know. So you guys want to have? You guys came to me saying you're dating each other and having sex with your mom, and you want to have sex with me? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. About sums it up. You can be a top. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode <laughs> of Dropouts. Episode uh, whatever. If you stayed till the end, uh, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> so I'm so weird. sorry. And uh, make sure to DM me some some ideas of content we can make, of any ideas we can do for the podcast. Help us out, all right? I would we just like to say we love one, you so much. Yeah, I want to say one final thing. Okay. Um, again, if you guys have anything to give to his GoFundMe, it'll be linked below. Literally anything helps from 25 cents to... Um, 25 bucks like literally anything so uh that's so the, sweet to the person that um anonymously don't anomaly <laughs> anomaly anonymously donated thank you so much um we really appreciate it i'm acting like this is my knee thing but like you're my best friend so like duh um and <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us this week on dropouts i'm indiana that's act justice that's jabra music and we'll see you guys next week in another episode of dropouts bye Go follow us on Instagram at no. Dropouts Pod. No. You guys are disgusting.